are definitely here at Valley Fair and it's a busy day here. I'm gonna splice in the clip here showing what the line for Valley Fair looks like to get in this morning. It was easily two hours, or not two hours, two miles long, just full of cars. But luckily we took an Uber, so we didn't have to wait in that. But uh, it should be a fun day, right? Yeah, it should be. Yeah, let's check it out. There's some lines to get into the park, and then we have the line that we're currently waiting in. And it's going through the bush over here. They're like people literally waiting to go through the bush. Oh, check out this little fountain that they got. Oh, that's cute. And of course you have a Valley Fair sign over here as well. Oh, right below the wild thing is one of their scare houses. Valley High School. It's like an undead high school scare house. Doesn't look like it right now, but that is a scare house for sure. I wonder if this next building, looks like a movie theater entrance, is another one of their Halloween events. Or if it's an actual theater. Wild thing behind it. I don't know. We decided we're gonna do that huge green coaster. It's called Wild Thing. Just assuming that it's gonna get a very long line. Although we are wrong in our assumptions last time when we went to King's Dominion, another Cedar Fair Park. Here's the entrance over here, and I can definitely see how it can be a very long line. So I'm actually glad we're doing this. There's the wild thing. Check out the ride operator A Wild Thing. It has these goats. Looks like he's decorated them. It's kind of cool. And they do have bins on the Wild Thing for you to put your stuff so you don't need a locker. Alright, Wild Thing, it's a fun coaster. It reminded me of Mamba and Rolls and Fun, you know? Just a good coaster. You get a little bit of air time on this one, which is quite fun. Mm -hmm. It's not one of the fastest, but it's definitely worth going on. No, yeah, and the front was pretty smooth, I think. Back might have been a little rough. I don't know, we haven't done it, but that's my guess. They do have a photo op on the ride, just in case you're curious. And they have a booth where you can view the photo here. I'm glad we got in this ride when we did. The queue is definitely already extended, and more and more people are coming over here to do it. On the plant, Snoopy, next. I'm gonna see if we can do this tiny blue coaster. But before we do it, I wanted to show off another very cute water fountain that they had that Crystal pointed out. Just look at it! That's adorable! coaster was a fun little small coaster yeah for the credits next up we're doing the high roller roller coaster kind of weird that it seems like this high roller coaster entrance is in planet Snoopy just up ahead here But no, the first half was pretty good. The second half, it started to get a little bit dicey there. But uh, it was an okay coaster. <laughs> it was a sneezing good time. Glad we got here when we did. The line extends out here, and they even extended, you know, the queue line to do the zigzag feature. So yeah, lines are getting heavy here. As we leave Planet Snoopy, Snoopy wishes us have a great day. I think we will. 
Sadly, the Mad Mouse coaster here already has a pretty substantial line, but we gotta do it for the credit. Sadly, after waiting for Wild Mouse for about 30 minutes, it broke down and everybody started leaving. So, we're on to a new ride. We heard some people talking about the stadium grill in line. Apparently, it's like one of the go to places here. We might have to try this later on after another coaster or two. Over here is an entrance for the water park, Soak City. Seems pretty busy with that lazy river. And then next to it, they have a Nordic waffles, but it looks closed. Now, that would have been good having some waffles today. Next up is a Renegade Outlaw Coaster. Looks like it has a, a decently long line. Sends out to here. at the queue you can see some of it is in the sun but actually half of it is in the shade so you just have to wait through half of it in the sun out there and then you'll be in the relaxing shade we are now going to check out the stadium grill looks like could be a decent line inside of it so this is what the chicken strips look like pretty basic theme park food in my opinion three chicken strips and this is what the cheeseburger looks like you know yeah this is pretty basic theme park food Although the part that's really impressive is actually how fast we got this food. We're so used to basically this year taking 30 minutes to an hour to get food at theme parks. This, this took like 10 minutes. This is super fast and simple. We're both very impressed with that speed. The seating for this place is pretty nice. They even have some upstairs seating just in case the downstairs is full. But you know, there's still plenty of open seats. By the way, this is what the trash cans look like inside of here. Kind of fun. Lunch was pretty dang good. I just loved how fast it was. Moving on. As we walk to our next coaster of rapids, I wanted to show you the lazy river over here. Looks like a fun lazy river. Lots of shaded opportunities there, right underneath this huge water slide. Ooh, we're going through a tunnel. I guess the train is up above us right now. This looks like one of the coolest river rapids rides. I have ever seen. It just looks like you get absolutely drenched. There's so many of these like forced waterfalls. You even got cannons where people outside the ride can get people wet. But this one section absolutely looks incredible. Hey guys, get ready! Set fire! <laughs> yeah. So this is the line for the raft ride right now and our guess is it's probably at least an hour to get on it maybe. Maybe longer. It just seems like it keeps going and the capacity of this ride is not that high. There's this like weird red bug that's like all over the wood outside Excalibur and the River Rapids ride. No idea what it is. On to Excalibur, and already the line's not looking that bad. It looks like it's a walk-on, maybe? Which would be really weird, because all the rides so far today have had, you know, relatively longish lines. Wow, yeah, no, this is literally a walk-on ride. There's, like, there. nobody here. That is so strange. Oh, what? Alright, 
Excalibur is actually rougher than a lot of wooden coasters we've been on. Yeah, I don't know how much of that was because we sat in the back on accident thinking it was the front. Yeah. But um, it's not one that I really want to do again to try out and see if it runs better. Mm, no, yeah, and there's a reason why this is back park. This is maybe not the best ride, but uh, yeah, I don't wait too long for this one. One bad thing about this park is I think that it's supposed to be smoke free or designated smoke spots, but I swear there's been people smoking like everywhere that we go in this park. So that's a disappointment. Off. It's interesting how the train overlays with the station here. Pretty good train ride with some crazy views of wild things. Looks like they sometimes have stage appearances here. They do list some times, I just don't know if they're following the times due to COVID right now. Let's check out this Snoopy boutique over here and see what they got. We got a giant Snoopy made out of Legos over here. That's interesting and fun. I got this Snoopy astronaut costume they got. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> and they have a whole bunch of Woodstock plushies over here. I think this is the first time I've ever seen a Woodstock plushie at a Cedar Fair park. Just to point out this Snoopy with the beach ball that they got. And this is Valley Fair on the beach ball. This store is very well maintained. Other stores, you know, have paint chipping and dust and stuff. No, this store seems very well maintained. All right, out of the store, moving on. Can't go wrong with Ferris wheels. Hopefully the line isn't too long. This is your meal plan. All right, we're here in the basically parking lot of the park. We're looking for some antique cars. There's a parking lot to the left. This yellow coaster, that's called Steel Venom. They're actually getting rid of its clone at Cedar Point in about a month. And I really hope when they get rid of that ride at Cedar Point that they move it to one of their other parks. Maybe Michigan's Adventure? That needs a new coaster, even if it is an old coaster, just move. And here is the antique autos ride that we're doing with screams in the background from Steel Venom. All 
right. I'm not sure what that ride was called, but it was a fun one. Crystal, what did you think of it? It was good, and I think it was called Northern Lights, I think. Okay. Up next is Steel Venom. this wide open grass area for a wild thing. I just love these supports over here. By the way, there are some really nice bathrooms, at least at the one I went to by Steel Venom. Pretty nice. This is what their trash cans look like. I know they had a different set of trash cans in the restaurant, but here's their outside trash cans. Pretty plain. But right behind the trash cans, you got this beautiful little like pond area. This is pretty nice. Chris is all too excited that this character is waving in the storefront. I got this cool Joe Cool statue that they have. Joe Cool is the Snoopy version with the glasses. And then, I don't know. Oh, Chris wants a picture. They have another Snoopy statue. I'm loving it. In line for the wild mouse once again. Hopefully it doesn't break down, but this is probably a 30 minute line, my guess. It has taken us an hour to get through this line. I don't know why they're so slow at running operations on this ride, but they're literally running like one coaster at a time and having seven weight with people on it. Like, this car's about to finish up over here. There is literally no running coaster on the track right now. Okay, we got off Wild Mouse. It literally took an hour to do it. Uh, yeah, the, they were so inefficient at loading the ride. I think they much would have been better off with three cars instead of eight. And I think that would have been faster. But yeah, it's just an okay ride. It's the end of a long day, and everyone's making their way out of the park. It is now officially closed. Oh, and as always, people are ordering funnel cake to go. This is the funnel cake line. It's pretty dang long. All right, so we're all done at Valley Fair. That wild mouse ride just was so slow. Yeah, that was not the greatest thing to end on. Mm -hmm. I technically have this reserved for tomorrow that oh, we might go to do the corkscrew ride, but uh, yeah, I mean, overall it is, it is a fun park. It wasn't as busy as King's Dominion. Yeah, uh, and despite seeing like that crazy line of cars in this morning, like the lines and the rides were actually, I thought, decent. There wasn't, only the wild mouse thing was the worst that was just, and that was due to, I think, more like a, a capacity, you know, employee issue more than anything. Mm -hmm. But overall, fun park, definitely worth a visit. Come here and you'll enjoy your time. That's it for now, see ya. Bye.